saw what it meant to you up on that stage. Have you had a minute to compose yourself and how are you feeling right now? Nah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't understand what's just happened. Um, yeah, what what an amazing feeling, what an amazing night, you know. Um, I started, I felt like the first two two sets in particular I played really well. Um, obviously, I, I, I tailed off a little bit. Um, and then obviously when he got to 3-1 up, um, yeah, me, I've, I've never been that nervous in the game darts. But, um, you know, I composed myself at the end. Um, you know, Gezi, what a fantastic player. Um, you know, what he probably the best trap sitter in, in the world for me. But luckily, for some reason, I have no idea why they just didn't go tonight. And, you know, he, he, was, he was fighting for himself during the game. You know, I kept my emotions in, in check tonight. Um, he was going 20s, 13s, 10s, and, and, and nothing was happening, you know, thank God. But, yeah. You know, irrelevant of all that, I, I don't care about stats, etc. You go up there, do a job, your goal is to win, and I've won that game. You miss a match start, and then he pins the 117. At that point, what goes through your mind, or is it not broadcastable? No, <laughs> here he comes, basically. You know, you've had your opportunity, you've uh, you, you know, you, you've missed it, and here he comes. Um, obviously, we had a break, um, and you know, me and Gizzy got a lot of respect for each other. You know, we're both the same type of character. Um, and you know, going up, you know, fair play, what a fantastic shot. Considering he, he, he top, tops all night uh, to stay in the tournament, great shot. But um, uh, yeah, I thought here, here he comes, um, but luckily he, he didn't come. And um, you know, I that that last like all I'm thinking to himself is just get off. Whether it's first, second, or third, I get off. I ping the 160 in. Wow, you know that was a massive relief because I was dead nervous up until that point, and then when he took that 160, and he missed. I kind of gone from being dead nervous to being dead relaxed, and I think it's shown. I think it was a 13 dart last night. Uh, you know, in doubling that, that's great. Were you pleased that break happened when it did to almost stop his momentum from the shot, and then you could compose yourself at the same time? Yeah, definitely. Um, because obviously, uh, um, you know, we all know how good Gavin Price is. You know, for me, you know, Michael was amazing last night. But you know, for me, Gavin Price is the best player in the world. Um, and I'm thinking, just don't start, don't come off this break and, and hit top. But then. Likewise for myself, I was a bit nervous the last two legs, so it gave me time to come off stage uh, and try and take some deep breaths. And uh, yeah, it, 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 it worked out well. Remember your last TV final, Premier League, behind closed doors? It wasn't a good experience, and I, I know you <laughs> cursed about it ever since. The last but, final wasn't. but are you so looking forward to playing a TV final in front of fans again and banishing that one from the record books? Yeah, um, you know, I'd like to say to you know. It, it, it's been quite quiet this week. Last night was been, what an amazing crowd. You know, people have said stuff about this crowd on social media this week. That out there tonight was was Premier League standard. It was amazing. Obviously, it's a lot smaller, but they were brilliant. And to be fair, I think they gave. gave I think considering his walk on, I thought he was going to get a lot more <laughs> booze, etc., than, than he actually did. And I thought they were fantastic. I think they enjoyed the game. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to, to playing. You know, again. Another, well, he's having number two or three, no, one or three in the final. Um, and, you know, fingers crossed, they can't hit tops like Gezi yeah, come tonight. And, uh, yeah, and, and let's actually open. Nathan, congratulations. Nathan, a year or so ago when you were struggling badly with injury, did you wonder whether moments like this would ever come again? Yeah, de yeah definitely. I wondered if I'd win games again. Uh, you know, when I first started practicing darts again, after a bit of time off, like, you wouldn't believe how bad my throw was and the pain I was in. Um, I try and obviously we know that I was injured, but I was I was in so much pain. You know the tape, etc. You know during the World Championships and it was horrific. Um, and you know I got told that the operation was the only way to get back. I decided to go against it, um, but I've had to work hard to get to get to back to the standard. And yeah, I think that's why you're seeing the emotion tonight. Just so proud of myself, you know. I've had so much support. Um, Edwin's always backed me, my management, my, my family, and you know, we've done all this for, for nights like tonight. In terms of the doors this could open, you've already spoken your eye in Bahrain, you know, potentially Premier League. How yeah. big is tomorrow night? I think it's massive. Um, you know, nothing set in stone, um, but you know, I, I, I'm, I'm probably the most open guy who does who does media, and I want to be in the Premier League. I want to be in the World Series. I want to travel the world. You know, I love my job. I've got the best job in the world. But I want to be with the big boys. I believe I'm a big guy. I think I proved it this week. 
you know, I beat number four, nine and two in the world. You know, what does that tell you? Um, and I want to be in everything next year. Yes, the calendar is like ridiculous and, you know, I might have about two days off all year, thanks to, <laughs> thanks to the calendar, but I don't care. You know, I live and breathe darts and, uh, you know, I hope to God that I can, you know, win tomorrow and be, be, be in everything. Nathan, do you think you've proved a lot of people wrong by beating the calibre of players that you've you've beaten this week? Yeah, you know, I think there's a lot of people out there that still know my potential, know my talent. You know, don't get me wrong. You know, I'm in, I'm in the final, but I've played absolutely nowhere near what I'm capable of. Um, so much better than what I'm performing. But I think because it's such a big tournament, you know, big prize money, big things at stake for myself, like the Grand Slam. Um, it's hard. You know, it's hard going on that stage. Um, but yeah, you know, that's what I do. I love proving people wrong. Um, you know, I love, I love the doubters out there that doubt me. And, uh, you know, it's, it's down to me to to do my job. And that's what I've done tonight. you still got that big game left in you for tomorrow night? Yeah, because, you know, I wouldn't have to do it. I, I thought it was going to come tonight, to be fair. The way it started, you know, the first two sets, I felt really, really relaxed. And I thought, tonight, tonight, I'm going to bang me 96, 97 average in double and double out. Um, but I can't help... Uh, getting nervous and that's what happened at the end. Cheers for your time. Just how much would it mean to you uh, to win tomorrow, obviously compared to, you know, winning the UK Open and, you know, in America, just how much would it, you know, how hard would it rank for you? That's a tough question to be fair because I always believe that the UK Open will be my, my biggest moment ever because that boot started uh, my career. But I think, to be fair, with what I've been through over the last 12 months, if I was to win that tournament tomorrow, um, it's just another story, isn't it? You know what I mean? This guy that came from nowhere that won the UK Open, the guy then got invited to America, egg won, you know, the top seven in the world, and this little guy from Stockport, and the little guy from Stockport wins it. And to me, come, to come back from injury and win it tomorrow, another story. But uh, can't answer that, I don't know, but it'll be, it'll be amazing. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Hello.